Let's move on to the Shimizu Reflex. I'll give you a little bit of background about the Shimizu Reflex. Uh, Shimizu is a uh, Japanese uh, neurologist and uh, his um, associate was a chap by the name of Shimada. <clears throat> they published their research in, um, in Spine, I believe in 1993. June of 93, I believe it was, if you want to go look it up. It's a great, uh, great article. And uh, what they did was they were looking for, they said, look, we've got reflexes that tell us when we've got a problem from C5 uh, down to, uh, down to uh, T1. Um, we've got cranial nerve tests, which tell us when we've got a problem from, oh, and, you know, not just cranial nerve tests, but also, um, you know, other tests like, uh, you know, hypertonicity and, and um, you know, um, uh, clonus and Babinski to tell us when we've got something from the frame and magnum up, but that little bit in between, there's nothing to tell us. When, there's, not, there's no simple physical test to tell us when we've got a neurological problem there. And so they started to look at people who had imageable lesions, compressive space occupying lesions in the C0 to C4 area. And they discovered the, this reflex where they, where they hit the patient <clears throat> either on the acromion process or on the lateral one third of the, of the spine of the scapula. So they take their reflex hammer. It needs to be this type of a reflex hammer. Uh, bear in mind that if you're going to reproduce research in the clinical setting, then you have to reproduce exactly the methodology that they, these guys used. And they used a hammer like this that's got a little bit of whip to it and We'll get our, our friend Paul here and give him a bit of stick here. Um, when you hit the reflex, the technique for hitting the reflex is not that, and you don't hold it down there and hit it like that. You hold it right on the end and you bounce it off the, off the bone. So it's like that. See that? No, I did see him. Yeah. No, you didn't <laughs> see that? You want me to see? Can you make it bigger? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you take the head of your hammer and you bounce it off the, off the patient like that, okay? You hold the hammer loosely in your hand. You don't go at the patient like you're trying to whack them, with a, uh, uh, whack them into submission. So it's just bounce the head of the hammer off there. And we'll give you opportunity uh, to do that around the room later. So that's the, um, that's the Shimizu reflex. The normal reflex is as you see here on the screen and um, you see that, that we get the, um, the shoulder rises or the arm abducts. One of those two things actually happens. Uh, Shimizu in the literature referred to this as the scapula, unfortunately referred to it as the scapulohumeral reflex in brackets Shimizu. The reason he put that there is because there's another scapulohumeral reflex. So we just refer to it as the Shimizu reflex and everybody knows what we're talking about. Anything that alters the pressure on the, on the C0 to C4 area produces that reflex. 